Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mr. Roxanne. This is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Season 3, Episode 1 of Supergirl that literally just aired. And it's called Girl of Steel. So we start off with um, Supergirl is having a dream sequence uh, with Monel and I think her mother. And so then she wakes up and um, or snaps out of it and she goes patrolling the city. And um, and then we cut to Alice and Maggie um, after I got in a truck. And then um, like they literally ran the 18-wheeler and they kind of get stuck. And then Supergirl comes in and helps out. And saves them. And then um, Alex then talks to Kara. And she's a little concerned. But it's trying to give her some space. And then um, then she also invites her to dinner. And then we have this guy in the board meeting. We later found out his name is Morgan. I think my TV was shorting out the entire time. I was hearing literally every other sentence. So if I'm wrong, please correct me down in the comment section down below. So, but also, apparently, this is, like, a big honcho meeting with all the people in town. So, like, um, Lena from, Lena, uh, from L Corp is there. James from Catco is there. And they're not having what this guy is saying. And, like I said, I don't really understand it. I'll have to rewatch this later on CWC because, like I said, my TV was kind of, I don't know, the signal was off. And so um, then we cut to, and then the guy in the media starts taunting her because um, she said like she's not on board with this. And then he has to have some um, facts, um, hand to um, just be some shady stuff and saying like, well, you're a Luther, so what do you expect? Or something stupid. And then we cut to Cat Grant. It's actually the press secretary for the president. And so then um, James talks to Supergirl. Or to Kara, and um, Kara um, is just kind of, she's just kind of icy and starting to distance herself from people. And then we cut to where Kara tells Selena, and um, she's pretty much just icing everyone out. That's the whole thing. She just kind of presses it off, and then James has his meeting, and basically Kara says, I'll get it done when I get it done. About the interview with Supergirl. So then... We find out there's actually a little bit of tension between Alex and Maggie. And um, then we cut to where um, the DO ID'd the guy. And so Supergirl goes to the location. And something attacks her. And it turns out it was a Dex Might ship. And it was cloaked in Lane. It was in Lane's base, basically. <laughs> and so um, then. James basically gets Supergirl to cat go by using his um, emergency signal on his um, on a detector or beacon to get her there. And basically it says like you need to finish this before I hit a beat pull boss rank, but you gotta have, have this article done. So she's like, no, and I quit. So basically then when John or Hank Henshaw, you know, John Jones figures it out, he literally fusses out Lane for having the Dexamite ship. So, um, turns out uh, the people that wanted wanted the cloaking device so they could, you know, basically handle anything. It would be like a cloaked ship or a cloaked airplane or like a B-52 or anything. Or like a secret, like, missile. So um, then we cut to Lena talks to Morgan, and he's she's like, I'll offer you more money if you back off of buying Catco, because apparently that's what he wanted to do. He wants Catco under his control and to control the narrative or whatever he's trying to do. And he's just doing shady stuff, because like I said, I couldn't really hear what he was saying, because my TV was cutting out. Then Alice and Cara talk, and then Cara saying that being Cara Danvers was a mistake. And that she just wants to be Supergirl. Then John saw the Supergirl at basically at um, this is Girl Steel Day, so basically they're unveiling like a statue to her, and so she talks to um, so John talks to Supergirl, and she opens up a little bit, saying like Hey, do you still dream about your family and all this type of stuff. So she feels slightly better talking to John, just because he's been through the same things that she has, kind of. And then uh, Alice and Maggie talk over the comms, and it's about 
her dad, and that's why she's kind of iffy on the wedding thing. And then when basically Edward Sutt did the whole thing, and that was kind of like a funny moment. So, um, that was cute. And then, you know, um, then Lena enters Supergirl's statue. And, um, so there, of course, is literally about to go down there. And it's actually a really cool statue. But then the missile is, turns out, is underwater because it got hit from, like, the floor of the, um, base of the land and not from the sky. And so they finally find out that the, um, it's the underwater sub that's making up, that's finding this. And then, um, Supergirl, uh, cause they can't track it cause of the cloaking technology. So basically what they have to do is, uh, she basically went up into the air and just listened and then heard for the sub and she hears it. It turns out this sub is big. And then when Supergirl gets there, uh, she literally rams the sub, and that's how you know how big it is. And the clicking stops working, but they still launch a missile, or uh, not a missile, it's more of a um, torpedo. And so basically, um, so basically, uh, she goes after the, missile, the torpedo, and then she gets hit, and Turns out this girl's daughter, they kind of showed this a little bit where um, basically this lady's um, daughter gets stuck under a beam and then the the mom literally looks up the freaking beam and pushes it aside and gets to her daughter. And she kind of freaked out a little bit about how she did that. And then we have um, two girls unconscious being in the water and then Monel you know, and the dream sequence tells her to wake up, and so she wakes up, and then, um, then she lifts this up, then Cara and Lena, uh, talk again, and turns out Lena bought Catco instead of the Morgan guy doing it. And then, um, the guy comes in and starts threatening her, then, um, uh, Supergirl confronts Morgan and tosses him on top of a cargo ship and leaves him there. <laughs> And then, um, then we cut to the, there's something weird underwater. I don't know what it is yet. So that's going to be really interesting. And then Alex wants John to walk her down the aisle. And he, uh, would love to. And then Kara is starting to be a little bit more like Kara in the other seasons by showing up to dinner and, or to the bar and hanging out with everyone there. So this was a really good episode. So I'm going to give this a A+. Plus. And again, I'm very sorry about this setup, and hopefully it'll be better. And that's going to do it for this video. So if you like this video, please give it a like, comment down below, and then subscribe. And have a really awesome night or day whenever you're watching this. Bye, everybody.